gray, which is pretty much military color. The engine is 349cc Royal Enfield. Really refined machine, a really refined machine to the level of like the BMW. Buddy Sandy delivering me my. That's it. Last few moments, last ride on Warthog. Warthog is going away. I haven't ridden it enough as much as I wanted to. 2021 Royal Enfield Himalayan. And boy, was it a great, is it a great bike? Great, great bike. I mean, it's not fast as crazy, but it's so tractor-like. Really, really nice. Truth is, uh, New Jersey doesn't have that many public off-roads. It's all private off-road trails and stuff like that. So I didn't get to use it as much as I wanted. And it's going, I'm happy that it's staying uh, within the group. One of our buddies is going to have it. I'm going to switch over to uh, another bike. Lock it in. That's where it's gonna be resting for the next few months. And I'm happy to announce it's our buddy Steve, Street Glide Steve, that's gonna be taking care of uh, Warthog. You can give it any name you want. And thank you. It was a nice ride over here. Yeah. Now we're gonna go over to the, to pick up the new bike. Awesome. Just as awesome. Yeah. I want to say thank you to Brendan for giving me great and a call back there for helping me out with this the new bike. Thank you so much. is extremely easy. There's no clicking and clacking like we're used to on Harleys. Here it's just as smooth as butter. Easy finding neutral. Really uh, effortless ride. It's not a rocket, obviously. It's comfortable. It's, it's comfortable speed is around 60, 65 miles per hour. Nice single uh, bang bang exhaust sound. Nice and comforting, very, very fun to ride. That, that's really all I can say. Royal Enfield engineers did a great job. Okay, braking on the bike is not 
It's not really... I had to stop to reposition the camera. As I was saying, acceleration, it's not a fast bike. Acceleration is not crazy fast. It's only got 20 horsepower and 27, 27 foot-pounds of torque. But that's not what this bike is made for. This bike is made for uh, bottom-end, low-end torque, slow cruising, slow, uh, you know, effortless riding. It's not a, it's not a racing machine, and it's it's a classic and it give, it just gives you that elegant that that yeah that elegant feeling of, a, of an elegant bike i don't know how I, I can't really express it in words but it's really really refined machine a really refined machine to the level of like the bmw that i was riding uh, a few months ago really well put together beautiful i'll show you a walk around very soon butter sometimes even you're, you're not even sure you're in neutral to look down and see yeah I hit neutral it's that effortless it's got five speeds I felt that I had to take the bike out to the perfect to the perfect spot and I had to look for an off-road because I'm trying to not replicate but uh, give it its, the right environment like it was in India this is what this is what I was able to find I think it's pretty cool and I picked the perfect spot so I'll do the walk around so you get to see the bike Initially, I have it just a few days. Let's do a walk around. I'll Let's start with the cockpit area. Single ignition, switch on, off, and steering, steering lock, speedometer with no tachometer, and this uh, Royal Enfield Classic 350 emblem. You can replace this and put their uh, Royal Enfield navigator. I'm not gonna bother. Neutral indicator and basic lights, battery, a check engine, ABS, they have, yes, they have ABS. And this LCD, with, which gives you, by the move, by the click of this, this little button, gives you uh, odometer, trip one, trip two, and the time. But pretty basic. Engine cut, run, and uh, spring-loaded for starter, hazard lights, brake, they've got Brembo, Brembo family uh, brakes. It's not a, by Brembo, it's a family. It's a company owned by Brembo. They're not as strong and as, as uh, expensive as the Brembo's, but this is a, a more affordable bike. A pass, spring loaded, low, low beam, high beam, and signal lights. Nice little horn and clutch. This specific bike I got, it's uh, the color is uh, marsh gray, which is pretty much military 
color. The engine is 349cc Royal Enfield single. That puts out somewhere around 20 horsepower and 26 or 27 foot pounds of torque. All blacked out, which is what I opted for. Stock seat with pillion. Very comfortable, by the way. Suspension, really good. Basic and very good. These are the brakes. Disc, one disc, single disc in the back, single disc in the front. This is a serial number. Every bike has a different number from what I understand. I think it has nothing to do with the VIN. Get a Royal Enfield so you can take it on dirt roads and just not worry about it because it's just so capable. 